Aviation radiophrasiology is the specific language used by pilots and air traffic controllers ATC when communicating with each other over the radio. This language is standardized internationally to ensure clear and efficient communication in the air. Some examples of common aviation radio phraseology include Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Pilots use this phrase to signal a distress situation requiring immediate assistance. It is the international distress signal and should only be used in the event of an emergency. Pan Pan is used to indicate a less urgent situation, such as a mechanical problem. Roger is used to indicate that a message has been received and understood. Affirmative or negative are used to indicate a positive or negative response to a question. Holding pattern is a standard maneuver in which an aircraft flies in a circular pattern while waiting for clearance to proceed. Cleared for takeoff. This phrase is used by ATC to give a pilot permission to take off. Squawk code. This phrase is used by ATC to request that a pilot set a specific code on their transponder, which is used for radar identification. Say altitude or what is your altitude? Pilots may use this phrase to confirm the altitude at which another aircraft is flying. Traffic in sight. Pilots use this phrase to let ATC know that they have visually spotted other aircraft nearby. Descend and maintain altitude. ATC may use this phrase to instruct a pilot to descend to a specific altitude. Unable. Pilots use this phrase to indicate to ATC that they are unable to comply with a previous instruction. Request flight following. Pilots use this phrase to ask ATC for radar traffic advisories and assistance while in flight. What is your ground speed? Pilots may use this phrase to ask another aircraft or ATC for their ground speed, which is the speed at which the aircraft is traveling along the ground. Estimated time of arrival ETA, pilots use this phrase to give ATC an estimate of when they will arrive at a specific location. Holding at stating the location. Pilots use this phrase to inform ATC that they are in a holding pattern, which is a maneuver used to delay an aircraft's arrival at a location. Request clearance to destination. Pilots use this phrase to ask ATC for permission to fly to a specific destination. Cancel IFR instrument flight rules. Pilots use this phrase to inform ATC that they no longer need to fly under instrument flight rules and would like to switch to visual flight rules or VFR. Request vector plus direction. Pilots use this phrase to ask ATC to provide a specific heading or direction to follow. What is your planned route? Pilots may use this phrase to ask another aircraft or ATC for their planned flight path. Request deviation stating the reason. Pilots use this phrase to request permission to deviate from their planned route due to weather or other factors. Checking in. Pilots use this phrase to inform ATC that they are contacting them and providing their flight plan information. Request descent to altitude. Pilots use this phrase to request permission to descend to a specific altitude. Request climb to altitude. Pilots use this phrase to request permission to climb to a specific altitude. Request approach type. Pilots use this phrase to request clearance to perform a specific type of approach to an airport, such as an ILS or instrument landing system approach. Say fuel state. Pilots use this phrase to ask another aircraft or ATC for their remaining fuel level. Request taxi destination. Pilots use this phrase to request permission to taxi to a specific location on the airport. Request clearance to enter controlled airspace. Pilots use this phrase to request permission from ATC to enter an airspace that is monitored and regulated by air traffic control. Request clearance to leave controlled airspace. Pilots use this phrase to request permission from ATC to exit an airspace that is monitored and regulated by air traffic control. Request special VFR clearance. Pilots use this phrase to request permission to fly under special visual flight rules or VF or in weather conditions that are below VF or minimums. Request clearance to enter class of airspace. Pilots use this phrase to request permission to enter a specific type of controlled airspace, such as class B or class C airspace. Standby. Pilots or ATCs use this phrase to indicate that they are temporarily unavailable to communicate or that they need a moment to process information. Request flight level plus altitude. Pilots use this phrase to request clearance to fly at a specific altitude in hundreds of feet, such as flight level 250 for 25,000 feet. Request clearance for low approach. Pilots use this phrase to request permission to perform a low approach, which is a maneuver that involves flying near an airport without landing. Request clearance for touch and go. 
Pilots use this phrase to request permission to perform a touch and go, which is a maneuver that involves landing on a runway and taking off again without coming to a full stop. It is important to note that while these phrases are standard, they may vary slightly between different countries and regions. For example, in some countries affirmative and negative may be replaced with Wilco and Neget, respectively. It is also important for pilots to speak clearly and at a steady pace, and to use proper pronunciation to avoid confusion. It is always a good idea for the pilot to repeat back the clearance received from ATC to ensure there is no mistake. In addition to standard phraseology, pilots and ATCs also use special codes and abbreviations to communicate important information quickly and clearly. Examples include N for November the International Phonetic Alphabet, flight level to indicate an altitude in hundreds of feet, and radar service terminated to indicate that radar assistance is no longer being provided. It is also essential to note that communication between pilots and ATCs is a critical aspect of flight safety, so it is important for pilots to use correct phraseology, to speak clearly and to listen carefully to instructions from ATCs. It is important to note that the phraseology used in aviation radio communications is standardized internationally to ensure clear and efficient communication, but it's always important to check the latest aeronautical information, as well as to check the FAA or ICAO regulations before flying, as some variations may exist. It's also important to note that in addition to standard phraseology, pilots and ATCs also use special codes and abbreviations to communicate important information quickly and clearly, for example, QNH for barometric pressure adjusted to sea level, ATIS for automatic terminal information service, CTR for control zone, etc. It is also essential to note that communication between pilots and ATCs is a critical aspect of flight safety, so it is important for pilots to use correct phraseology, to speak clearly and to listen carefully to instructions from ATCs, as well as to use codes and abbreviations correctly. Read back instructions. It is important for pilots to read back instructions from the control tower for several reasons. Confirmation of understanding. By repeating the instructions back to the control tower, the pilot is confirming that they have understood the instructions correctly. This helps to minimize confusion and ensure that the aircraft is following the correct instructions. Clarity. Reading back instructions can also help to clarify any instructions that may not have been understood or that may have been garbled during transmission. This can help to prevent misunderstandings and ensure that the aircraft is following the correct instructions. Safety. Reading back instructions is an important safety measure that helps to reduce the potential for errors. By confirming the instructions, the pilot is ensuring that they are following the correct instructions and that they are aware of any potential hazards or restrictions. Compliance. Reading back instructions is also a way to ensure compliance with air traffic control regulations. By repeating the instructions, the pilot is acknowledging that they have received and understood the instructions and will comply with them. Situational awareness. Reading back instructions can also help to ensure that the pilot is aware of their position in the surrounding traffic, especially when flying in crowded airspace or in low visibility conditions. Timeliness. It is important for pilots to read back instructions in a timely manner. Delaying the read back can cause confusion and delay the aircraft's progress. Accuracy. It is important for pilots to read back instructions accurately. Any inaccuracies or errors in the readback should be corrected immediately to ensure that the aircraft is following the correct instructions. Phraseology Pilots should use standard aviation phraseology when reading back instructions. This helps to ensure that the instructions are clear and concise and that they conform to the standard terminology used in aviation. Clarity of transmission Pilots should ensure that they are communicating clearly, with a steady pace and proper pronunciation. This will help to prevent misunderstandings and ensure that the instructions are understood correctly. Professionalism Pilots should always conduct themselves in a professional manner when communicating with air traffic control. This means being courteous, polite and respectful, and following standard procedures and protocols. It's also worth noting that air traffic control ATC will also read back some information, for example, clearances, to pilots to confirm that the information has been received and understood, it's known as readback or hearback procedures. In conclusion, the use of proper radio phraseology and the readback of instructions from ATC are important practices in aviation that help to promote safety and minimize confusion. Pilots should always familiarize themselves with standard phraseology and procedures, and use them correctly and consistently to ensure clear and accurate communication with ATC. It's important to note that reading back instructions is a standard practice in aviation, and it is expected that pilots will repeat back any instructions that are given to them by air traffic control. This helps to promote safety and minimize confusion in the skies.
That's it for today folks. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating world of aviation radio phraseology. Remember, clear and efficient communication is crucial to maintaining safety in the skies. So next time you're flying, take a moment to listen in on the radio conversations and see if you can understand the secret language of the pilots and air traffic controllers. Don't forget to check out the latest aeronautical information, as well as to check the FAA or ICAO regulations before flying. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to support my channel, please like and subscribe and click the bell button for any updates. Thank you.